Intimidating Elizabeth Olsen, teasing Tom Hiddleston, and talking serious smack about Black Widow, Jeremy Renner has some unusual relationships with his MCU co-stars. Everyone in the Marvel cast plays a superhero, but Chris Hemsworth's character Thor is just built different. When some of the MCU stars got together for the first time, Jeremy Renner remembers his fellow cast members being surprised by just how physically imposing Hemsworth was. Renner recalled on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast that everyone was wearing their costumes, and it looked like Halloween. He explained, We're excited and equally feeling ridiculous. I feel like we all kind of knew each other somehow, some way. Except we didn't know this Hemsworth guy, because he comes from Australia. Furthermore, everyone was taken aback by Hemsworth's charisma. Renner added, He's the tallest. He's the most good-looking. Robert Downey Jr. had a suggestion for the rest of the cast, saying, We've got to break his knee. We've got to take him out. This guy's too good-looking. He's too tall. He's too charming. Doth mother know you weareth her drapes? Since that first meeting, it seems that Renner and Hemsworth have been on great terms. The two joke around with one another online, hinting at a great relationship behind the scenes. Renner shared an Instagram video in 2019 of him jokingly defacing Hemsworth's face on an Avengers poster, and he captioned it, quote, Love you, brother. When the Avengers first assembled in 2012's The Avengers, Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye and Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow were the only two members of the team who hadn't gotten a solo movie yet. That meant they shared a certain bond. In a way, it felt like we were doing it together, um, you know, like we were the new kids on set. She praised her co-star's acting ability, too. Jeremy is like one of the finest actors around. He's so brilliant. When Johansson got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2012, Renner was on hand to deliver a speech, congratulating and gently teasing her. Just like Budapest all over again. You and I remember Budapest very differently. Jeremy Renner's character Hawkeye and Chris Pratt's Star-Lord haven't shared all that much screen time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, they did team up in a Marvel podcast called Wastelanders, which saw the duo join a super team that also includes Wolverine and Doctor Doom. Their lack of crossover time hasn't stopped Renner from growing close with Pratt, it seems. Renner has admitted that their families are close. Back in 2017, he told E.T. that his daughter and Pratt's son were classmates. He added, Our kids play. They go to the same school. They have a good time together. Renner's friendship with Pratt has extended to their online presences, too. In 2020, a number of Marvel stars came to the Guardians of the Galaxy star's defense when there was internet backlash against Pratt for his supposed affiliation with an anti-LGBTQ church. Though he didn't release a statement on his own, Vanity Fair reported that Renner liked an Instagram post from Robert Downey Jr. defending their co-star, in which the Iron Man actor wrote, what a world! The sinless are casting stones at my brother Chris Pratt, a real Christian who lives by principle. Leading up to Avengers Endgame, the MCU cast was desperate to avoid accidentally spoiling anything about the heavily anticipated film. In order to misdirect reporters and sidestep questions about the Marvel team-up epic, Jeremy Renner and Paul Rudd decided to joke about being in a different movie altogether, which they called the 50-year-old virgins. Rudd, of course, starred in The 40-Year-Old Virgin with Steve Carell. Renner shared a mock poster on Instagram to wish his co-star a happy birthday. Hashtagging it, press tour continues. He also wore a shirt with Rudd's face on it to an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, where he explained their inside joke. He said they made up stories to tell about what it was like to film the fake movie together. You know, we played ping pong a lot, you know, we're ping pong <laughs> right. champions. Rudd and Renner joked around in person, too embracing one another at a promotional appearance just like they had on the mock poster. The good-natured ribbing doesn't just go one direction, either. After Rudd returned the favor by wearing a shirt with Renner's face on it to a comic convention, Renner posted a pic of his co-star on Instagram, calling him a, quote, fashion icon. Elizabeth Olsen's and Jeremy Renner's first MCU film together was Avengers Age of Ultron. Olsen and Renner have worked together on numerous MCU films since. In 2017, they led the cast of Wind River, a film by Taylor Sheridan, creator and showrunner of Yellowstone. Renner told E.T. about what it was like to work with his MCU co-star in a different environment. He said, It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience with her. 
It turns out that Olsen likes working with Renner just as much as he enjoys working with her. The same year Wind River came out, she told Vulture that it wasn't always that way, and that her first day on an Avenger set was actually stressful. She explained, I was intimidated by him because of his dryness and because he doesn't sugarcoat things. Look, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. However, she asked him for advice, and he told her to ground her character in Wanda's love of her family. Their relationship blossomed from there, and Olsen now has nothing but glowing things to say. Although Jeremy Renner plays Hawkeye across six films in 10 years, he never got his own solo movie. Instead, in 2021, he starred in a television show on Disney+, Plus so that Hawkeye could pass the torch to a new generation. The show saw True Grit star Haley Steinfeld's character, Kate Bishop, pick up the Hawkeye mantle, and it turns out their character's relationship was reflected in their behind-the-scenes friendship, too. Renner told Entertainment Weekly he felt like the younger actor's mentor on set, given the fact that he'd been part of the Marvel machine for so long. Furthermore, it turns out Renner respects his co-star for more than just her Oscar-nominated acting ability. He said, She's a wonderful actress, a wonderful human, and I can't wait to see all the cool stuff that she's able to do." Steinfeld seems to agree that having Renner on her side was important to her success on the show. She told NME, "...I really felt like I had an ally in him from day one. I, much like Kate, had my moments where I would look to him for guidance and some sense of calming within the madness of making this great project." As with many of his co-stars, Jeremy Renner seems to have quite the jokey relationship with Captain America star Chris Evans behind the scenes. In fact, their easygoing camaraderie got them in trouble during the press tour for Avengers Age of Ultron. While talking with Digital Spy, Renner and Evans asked about the fact that Black Widow seemed to be in a relationship with the Hulk in the film, yet also had chemistry with both their characters in the past. He's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something along that line. <laughs> it's a complete horror. Both actors later apologized after their jokes angered fans. Even though their time in the MCU has come to an end, Renner and Evans still seem to be on great terms. In 2022, when Evans was named People's Sexiest Man Alive, Renner gave him a shout out on his Instagram story, writing, Look at my boy. Jeremy Renner and Marvel co-star Samuel L. Jackson first worked together all the way back in 2003, when they starred together in action flick SWAT, as in the MCU, where Jackson plays Avengers leader Nick Fury. Renner was a member of Jackson's elite team in the thriller. When they both joined the cast of The Avengers, Jackson told the Daily News that he was glad to have a chance to work with Renner once more. While SWAT failed to launch Renner's career, he told the outlet that he was actually grateful success found him after Avengers. He said, I'm very, very fortunate that it's come to me later on in life, being a bit more self-aware and fully realizing as a man, I have a little bit more of a skill set to endure the onslaught of things that were coming at me." Renner shouted Jackson out on Twitter in 2015, when the cast evidently missed the veteran actor's presence on set. He wrote, "'I hope your ears are burning, brother. We're all missing you. Hope we get to see you for a foot stomp and slap and good time soon.'" Though the cast of the Marvel Cinematic Universe has grown immensely over the years, Jeremy Renner is fiercely protective of the cast of the original Avengers film. He frequently captions his posts, hashtag A6, shouting out the original members of the superhero team who have been there with him since the beginning. The team decided to show each other how much they meant to one another through some ink. The original six got, got a tattoo because we've all been together over the last decade and spent a lot of time together. He further explained that the design of the tattoo, an interlocked A and 6, also contained symbols referencing each main character. However, he admitted that not all of them got the tattoo after all. Uh, Ruffalo's the only one that kind of chicked it out at the last minute. Renner said that he nearly got Ruffalo kicked out of the group, joking in a group chat that Eric Bana, the star of Ang Lee's Hawk film, should get tatted instead. However, it seems like there are no hard feelings over the tat flap. They frequently support each other on social media, for example. When Hawkeye premiered on Disney+, Plus, Ruffalo tweeted, Jeremy Renner always hits his mark. In 2022, the Hulk also wished his co-star a happy birthday online. Hawkeye and Loki aren't friends, to say the least, but by all accounts, it seems that Jeremy Renner and the villainous Tom Hiddleston get along great behind the scenes. At least, that was the impression at the D23 Disney Expo convention in 2011. While Hiddleston was on the red carpet giving an interview, Renner walked behind his co-star, who jumped in surprise as Renner evidently went out of his way to bump into him. Hiddleston and Renner then joked back and forth about how they mess around and misbehave on set, and that's why their characters are kept so separate. 
Trying to keep a straight face, Renner also prompted Hiddleston to talk about how he feels about Loki's costume, perhaps insinuating that the star may have done some complaining behind the scenes. Just like Jeremy Renner, trying to get other people in trouble. While Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury is the man who got the Avengers to assemble, it seems that much of the Avengers cast looked up to Robert Downey Jr. as one of the more veteran actors in the cast. At least, that was definitely the case for Jeremy Renner, who told E.T. that he leaned on RDJ, especially in the beginning. He said, Downey kind of kicked off the MCU in the way that he did with Iron Man. He kind of took us all under his wing, if you will, to kind of shepherd us in, in a certain way. Just in a different sort of way, you can lean on somebody for some sort of information or a hug or something. It seems Downey leaned on Renner too. While on Late Night with Seth Meyers in 2014, he shared that he was having trouble convincing his son to be careful while playing outside. So he called up his co-star since his son loves Hawkeye, who told RDJ's son, Listen, this is Hawkeye talking. You can't put a stick in your eye because then you won't be able to use the bow and arrow at 300 yards and take out the bad guy. 